Oh, well, hello. Today we are going to be learning how to make a nice, beautiful, stylized page. It's our introduction to CSS that you might remember is how you get some nice styles on your page. So you should be starting with this code. You click the link and remember you want to remix it so it then becomes your own project. So don't forget to press the remix button like that and you get your own little page here. Um, so once you have the remix version of this, all right, what we're gonna do today is just take a look at it first. So we'll go to show and we'll see it looks like this. Beautiful, it's a nice little website about our cat. But this is the HTML. We learned about H1s, H2s, Ps, and images last class. What we wanna do is style this because this website looks gross. So how do we add styles? Well, index is where we put like all the elements that we want on the page. To do our styles, we'll do it in style.css. So please click style.css. And this is where we're gonna start styling things. Now, to style something on your HTML page, the first thing you have to do is find out what do you want to style. So you gotta say like, of all these things, what do I wanna style? And the first thing I usually start with is styling like the background. And if you're gonna style the background of something, well, the whole web page, you wanna start by styling the body. So the whole entire body I wanna give a background to. So I'm gonna select the body. So I go here and I put my selector in, which is body. Now, how you wanna style it, you then do open and close braces and that will be what do I want to style? Like what styles do you want to apply to this? So in the bo body, I want to change the background. So the background is what I want to style. And here's where you can put a color. Now in CSS, there's many different ways you could do colors, but the most easy bit, basic way to do it is actually just to write a color. So I can say blue and you'll see the whole background is now blue. You could change that to red and the whole background becomes red. That's one way to do it, all right? And it's kind of easy and you know, whatever. There we go. Now, another thing you could do is if you really wanna get more advanced with this, you can use RGB colors. So RGB is a color code, it uses three numbers. It's how much red, green, and blue you want. And it ranges from anywhere from zero to 255. If you really wanna do this, you can go to you Google the word color picker, color picker. All right, so I Google color picker and you'll see I get this like kind of color tool here where I can just shift around and as you shift it around, you'll get all these different colors. And so let's say I say, okay, I really like this uh, purple color right here. I love purple. What I'll do is take this RGB code right here. I'll copy it and then I'll come back over here and I'll paste that. So now I do background and it's RGB and that is my color. Sweet. Looking good, right? Looking great. Um, another thing that you could do with background, if you're interested, is you can actually make the background an image. Actually, no, let's not talk about that. Okay, great. So we've got our body. The next thing we'd like to do is let's uh, let's style some of the words. So we'll go to, if you look here in our index, we have this H1, right? We have our, my name is Dakota. Let's start messing around with that. So if I go to my CSS, I'm going to select the H1. That's what I want to style. And let's start messing around with this font. The first thing I'll show you is that you can actually change the, um, the color of the font. So we could say color. Color is how you change the color of the font. It's very simple. What I'd like to do today is I'd like to just be white. Ooh, look at that, it's nice and white. Oops. So once it's white, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another style to this. So what you're gonna do is put the semicolon here. That's important. If you don't have this right here, the semicolon, or uh, this, you won't be able to do it. So every line you gotta add this little semicolon at the end. And let's change the size of it. So we can do font size now. And font size will tell you how many pixels large do we want this to be? So if we can increase it to 50, we can do 50 PX, and you'll see that it gets much bigger. We could do it to, let's say 200 PX, we get, so it gets huge. We could do it to two PX, and you'll see that it's up here, but it's super small. It's right there at the top. I think you can barely see it. But let's do 60, I think 60 looks good. Nice, all right. The next thing we could do is actually like, where do we, maybe we want to center on the screen. So we use this thing called text align. All right. So if I use text align, you could do either left, center, or right. If we put in the word center, you'll see that it moves to the right. If I put in the word right, it moves to the right. And you can put left and it'll be on the left, but we don't even want to do that if we put center. Great. And I want you to notice here that also this IDE, this integrated development virus, turns things green when you're doing it right. If you spell something wrong, it won't work and it won't light up green. So that green color says you're doing something right. 
And the last thing I want to show you is how to set the font of things. So we can use this thing called font family. All right, font family is how we'll set the font. And there's many different fonts out there. You can look them up. Maybe you could change it to Alphetica, which happens to be my favorite font. That looks great. Um, but there's other ways of setting fonts. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to H2 now. Let's move on and let's change our H2 to uh, something a little bit nicer. So we'll go to here. Let's see, our H2 is this, and I'm the best, whole, best cat in the world. So let's do a little bit more styling here. So let's go to H2. Now let's just practice this again. So first, let's change the color. Um, the color I want this to be is, I don't know, let's make this, a, let's go to our thing. I kind of want a yellowish color or an orange. My cat is actually a little bit orange, so let's go to orange. I'll get that RGB code. Let's put this in here, RGB for my orange color. Nice. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. So we'll say font size. Let's make this uh, 40 pixels. You know, notice here I didn't do it. Why didn't it do it? Forgot the semicolon. I do that all the time. And then let's actually center it too. So let's also do text align center. You notice that I get this right here. Ooh, now my website's looking pretty dope, don't you think? Now let's find a cooler font for this one. So I want to add another font, but how do you get? How do you find fonts? Well, I'll show you. What you'll Google is Google Fonts. So if you Google Google Fonts, you click this link, and it'll take you to all these amazing fonts. And they're all free. Some fonts you have to pay, pay and they're surprising a lot of money. Like who pays for a font? If I have fifty bucks and not buying a font, people do it. And what we could do is find a really nice looking font. Like this one looks pretty sick. Um, so what you do to get this font is you just press this plus button. Once you got the font, move down a little, you click this, one family selected, and there's two things you need. The first one is this link, and the second one is this, the font family part of it. The first thing you have to do is copy and paste this link. You take this link, you go to your index again. And right under the other link, for me, it's going to be on line seven. I'm going to paste that in there. Remember, this is inside the head. I don't want people seeing it, so I put it inside the head. That's just, and um, yes. The second step is to grab this line of code where it says specify in CSS. So I'm going to go to my CSS, and for my H2, I'm going to actually type that font family. And if you look now, whoa, I got the sickest font on earth. Notice how I added it there. So Google Fonts is a great way to find some really cool fonts. Um, and fonts really are surprisingly a great, fun, interesting topic. I know you don't believe me, but it is. OK, so we're going through these pretty good. Where our website's looking much better. Let's do something with these paragraph texts, OK? Let's, let's, uh, let's do some of our P tags. So we'll do P. Um, and let's say this. We're going to let's just make them a little bit uh, bolder. So if you want to make things bolder, you use this thing called font weight. Font weight is actually the boldness of something. And if you want to make it bolder, you have to pick a number between like 200 and 900. 900 being like the most bold, 200 being the least bold. I'm going to pick 700. And let's see if I get these a little bit bolder. Yeah, that makes it a little bit more bold. Let's do text align center. And that's pretty good. And let's make these a nice color. You know what? I kind of want this color to be, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do Google Color Picker. Google Colors, Color Picker. I have to write the word color because I'm ridiculous. Color Picker, duh. Uh, ooh, that I just like that green. Let's just go with that green. What up? What up, green? And we'll just go RGB here. That looks disgusting. I hate it. I've never hated something more. Uh, let's go with this. Uh, ugh, gosh. It's all terrible. Let's just go with this blue. I can't handle that color. Ugh, ugh. I'm gonna throw up if I keep looking at it. All right, we can go with that. And then finally, you'll see that my cat image over here. Some might say that it's not big enough. Some might say it's too big. I don't know, but we can actually mess around with that. So if you want to style your image, you can do a few things. To style the size of it, you could set the width of it. So I can go like this. If I want the width of it, and what you could set is, one, you could set it by pixels. So you could say like, oh, I only want this to be 50 pixels wide. And you'll see it gets super tiny. Or maybe I want it to be like 100, 1,000 pixels wide. And you'll see it gets massive. Whoa. And another way you could style it is using percentage. How much percent of the page do you want it to be? So if you want it to be just half the size of a page, you just do 50%. You notice that now it's 50%. See how it's right down the middle? 
you could also do 20%. And now it'll just be 20% of the page. But I love my cat so much that I want him to be 50% of the page. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to work on your profile. So you're going to start styling your own profile uh, using all these different things that you learned here. Uh, you go check the exercise. It'll explain what to do. Um, and here's what you should know. Uh, some of the thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. And uh, I will give you in Google Classroom where to go. But remember, www 3 schools 3 schools CSS, this is going to be your best resource resource to use. It has all these different things you can learn. It has some amazing information here. So if you ever want to look it over, you can find all sorts of different ways to style things in this. All right, that's it. Don't forget to kiss your brother and say, thank you, Mom. I love you so much. Peace.